If you're on the fence about participating in National Novel Writing Month, also known as NaNoWriMo this year, this video is for you. For those of you who are unfamiliar, this is an annual challenge for authors to complete a 50,000 word manuscript during the month of November. So as we get close to the weeks leading up to November, you'll likely see a lot of author tubers and others in the writing community talk about their participation and prep. While it's a really exciting time to be a writer and something that can be really invigorating to participate in, ultimately this type of challenge is not necessarily for everyone. So today I wanna to talk about some ways to discern and figure out if you should potentially participate and the pros and cons of doing so. I'm going to talk about five specific factors to keep in mind as you're deciding whether or not to participate in NaNoWriMo. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alyssa Matesic and I'm a professional book editor. And every week I either publish videos with writing tips like this one, or I talk about the publishing industry as that's my professional background. I'd love to have you join this amazing community. So please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I promise you won't regret it. And before we dive in, it would mean a lot to me if you hit that thumbs up channel. It really does help my videos reach more viewers just like you. The first factor to consider if you are deciding whether or not to participate in NaNoWriMo is your writing goals. If you've been sitting on a novel idea for seemingly forever and you've just never found the time to actually put pen to paper and get the manuscript written, then perhaps this challenge could be a good reason for you to do so. It provides the framework for authors to be very disciplined and finish a draft all within a single month. So by the end of it, you can feel accomplished that you have finally completed that manuscript draft you have been thinking about for however long. That said, if you are already knee deep in drafting a current work in progress, or perhaps you have a finished draft and you're now in the revising stage, then NaNoWriMo might not be the perfect fit for you. That's because this challenge really focuses on writing an entire manuscript from scratch rather than something that is already in the works. That said, many authors enjoy and have multiple works in progress going on at the same time. So just consider if sitting down and completing an entire new draft is something that would be beneficial for you and your writing priorities right now. For example, if you do have a current work in progress that you've just been really stuck on, maybe it could be a good idea to get your head an entirely new project, especially if you already have an idea for the next book you wanna write. Sometimes working on something else for a month or even more can then revitalize your creative energy to return to that other work in progress with a fresh perspective. But if you're dedicated to seeing your current project all the way through right now, then I would say sit NaNoWriMo out this year. To some degree, you want to avoid chasing this shiny new story idea because it is ultimately delaying your progress on this other work in progress that you might have on deck right now. So make sure you're thinking thoughtfully about how you want to spend your writing time in November and where you want to direct your creative energy based on what projects you have in the works right now. The next factor to consider when you're thinking about participating in NaNoWriMo is your discipline. If you're the type of person that works well with deadlines, you always meet those deadlines and you operate well under pressure, then this type of high intensity environment could work well for you. Ultimately, you are going to have to retain a lot of self-discipline to complete an entire manuscript draft in the month of November. This is a highly structured and time-bound challenge. So if you're the type of person that thrives under these intense and focused deadline-oriented settings, then it could be really productive. The beauty of NaNoWriMo is that it puts an external pressure on you to finish a draft in a given time frame. We know that you can write a draft of a novel at any time, but doing so within this framework gives you that accountability. You're given a deadline that you have to stick to if you want to complete the challenge. That said, if you personally find deadlines really stressful and you burn out very quickly under a pressurized environment like this, then NaNoWriMo might not be a good fit for you. In fact, it could even end up being counterproductive and stressful, which is the last thing you want your writing practice to feel like. Before we get into the next tips, I wanted to let you know about a free resource I created specifically for my YouTube community. It is called my Story Self-Assessment Worksheet. And if you have a current draft in progress, it's a great way to evaluate your manuscript from a new perspective 
and see how you can take it to the next level from here. It's completely free and the link to download it is in the description below. It will also sign you up for my newsletter, Chapter Break, where I interview publishing industry insiders and successfully published authors, and they're giving some amazing tips that I don't want you to miss out on. If you wanna go straight to the newsletter, the link is also in the description. The next factor to consider when you're thinking about participating in NaNoWriMo is your other time commitments over the period of November. If you've determined that it might be something you want to participate in, take a look at your calendar and see what other things you have going on, both professional and personal during the month of November. You wanna make sure you're actually going to have enough time to complete the manuscript draft in this month. Otherwise, it's likely not worth all of this effort to go into it to begin with. You might just end up feeling disappointed if you commit to the challenge and then realize halfway through that you really did not have time for this. Are you going to take a week-long vacation in November or do you have extensive Thanksgiving holiday plans? This could impact your ability to participate in the challenge. So note any obstacles that you see with your calendar in November. And then if you do have some things you need to work around, map out for yourself if you can still complete the challenge while taking into consideration these other obligations. For example, will you be able to dedicate an hour or two to writing every single day in November, or are you going to set aside large chunks of time over the weekend? It can be really helpful for you to understand approximately how many words you can write in a given writing session as you're mapping out how you're gonna complete 50,000 words over 30 days. Roughly, this would equate to around 1,667 words per day, though of course you could double up and write more on one day and not on another day. You want to allow yourself the flexibility and wiggle room in case something comes up and you don't end up getting to write that one day. But mapping out how many words you need to write during your dedicated writing sessions can be a really helpful way for you to stick to the challenge and complete it. The next consideration to keep in mind if you are on the fence about NaNoWriMo is your personal writing style. Because of the really intense setting in which you're writing the novel, NaNoWriMo traditionally has lended itself more toward pantsers, which are writers who write their novels in a more free form manner, rather than plotting out every single plot point in detail. But that said, Plotters should not totally write NaNoWriMo off. It still could work well for you, particularly if you are able to complete your outline before the month of November begins. Actually, in the official rules of NaNoWriMo, you can have any prep material you want completed prior to November 1st. The rule is just that any words that are in the manuscript itself must be written in the month of November. So you can go ahead and create a detailed outline in October if you have the ability and time to do so. Then in the month of November, all you really have to do is put pen to paper. But beyond the conversation of pantsers versus plotters, also just think about if you personally are able to maintain a steady writing practice consistently over the course of a month. Are you the type of writer who sits down at least one time a week or multiple times a week for writing sessions? Or are your writing sessions a bit more sporadic and maybe you go a couple of weeks in between without writing anything at all? Both methods are completely valid. However, if you are a bit more sporadic with your writing practice, then NaNoWriMo might be a challenge because again, you really do have to stick to a pretty strict schedule. My final tip for determining whether or not you should participate in NaNoWriMo is your desire for community. There is a very large social aspect to participating in NaNoWriMo. Once you sign up on the official website, you will have access to a vast array of forums where you can interact with other participants. There are even online events and even local in-person meetings. There are social events as well as write-ins where you are all sitting down together to write over the same period of time. So if you really value and want to build your own writing network, NaNoWriMo could be a great way to do so, not only to make friends online, but also potentially in your local community. What better way to bond with fellow writers than to go through this intense experience together and commiserate over it. You'll also just likely see a lot of authors posting on social media about their progress throughout the month with NaNoWriMo. They'll share how far they've made it in their current draft and encourage you to do the same. So if you want to embark on this type of journey with the support of a huge network of authors across the country and world, then it really is a great opportunity. 
And in fact, last year, more than 400,000 authors participated globally in NaNoWriMo. So you are in great company. I hope this video helped you determine whether or not you want to participate in NaNoWriMo this year. And if you've come to your decision, let me know in the comments if you think you are going to sign up. I would love to hear what your plans are. If you're looking for some more tips on how to approach NaNoWriMo, I have another video that goes into planning strategies as you are thinking about how to approach your novel. Before you head out, it would mean a lot to me if you hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and don't forget your free story self-assessment worksheet and my newsletter link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and happy writing.